We got a, we got a dance and cook. We got some burgers over here. We got a cute Nicole over here. Dude, this is the life right here. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I say goodbye to old friends, say hello to new ones, and camp out near Glacier National Park. Subscribe for daily videos. My horny cow alarm clock is going off first thing this morning. It's like 6.30 guys, I don't want to get up yet. Don't want to. It's too early to be up, but I do want to see what's going on up here. I don't know if you heard or not, but happy cows come from California. Horny cows come from Montana. I'm in Pulson, Montana. I've been here a couple days. Oh, it's all the baby. Hello, friend. Good morning. Rise and shine. Excuse you. Those birds are like insane. Oh my gosh. I want to go back to sleep, you guys. Shush. Hi, baby. I'm trying to catch some thieves. Can you please shut up? Randall, stop it. I need a solid nine hours or I'm a bitch all day. I don't think you understand. Do you want me to be a bitch all day, Rufus? Do you? I don't think, yeah. I don't think you do. Oh, bro. He's sleeping. Now the sprinklers are turning on. Okay, now the sprinklers are turning on. I think I need to just get up. I need my beauty sleep, nature. Let me have my beauty sleep, Randall. Peggy knows what I mean. You all woke Peggy up this morning, and she's gonna be a bitch all day long to all of you. I know. Peggy's nature is not a sassy bitch, but you all wake her up at the butt-ass crack of dawn. And please don't tell Dawn we were talking about him again. She's gonna be a sassy, sleepy asshole to all of you all day long. Oh, God. So this is my morning, I guess. No. No. I don't want to. I don't want to get up. I've been waking up at like 9.30, it's like 7 right now. But I guess I'll get back into the morning rhythms. When I started van life, I was waking up at like 6.30 every day. I just got into that routine and then once I went to my family reunion and had like a consistent place to shower and pee, I was waking up at like 9.30. And going to bed really late as well. What? What, Titus? What are you looking at? Beverly, good to see you. Looking good, girl. Beverly's a morning cow. She likes to get up. She is frisky. Peggy, however, I'm telling you, let Peggy sleep in, you guys. All right, well, love you too. Have an excellent day. Goodbye. I'm gonna go say goodbye to Jan, grab the rest of my things, and I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and upload, and then hit the road. I can get on my damn beyond. It is brisk out this morning. Hi, Coco. Uh, he just stops dead in his tracks. You look mad, cow. Do you have that mad cow disease? I think he has that mad cow disease. He looks very angry. Oh, hi, my little friend. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, hey. No, don't jump. This is a pain in the butt. Why am I getting attacked by dogs? Do you just know? Okay. 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 <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't like dogs. Okay, you're getting a little aggressive. You're taking off to your brother. Okay. Oh. Okay. Jesus. The cryos with the dogs. I can't with the dogs. Thank you for everything. Hey, so much. Send pictures. Send pictures. The attack of the wild backyard animals. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, backyard animals. Okay, oh, get down. Get down. Get down. Okay, okay. Bye, buddies. You guys are crazy. Every time I get in my car. Every time Gwen Stefani Christmas comes onto my radio. Every time. Where is my hot techie husband who can fix this for me? Watch. I'm gonna navigate to the coffee place. Siri, please delightfully take me to Copper Mountain Roasting. Getting directions to Copper Mountain. No, Gwen. No, Christmas in July is not a thing anymore. Let's go.
go coffee and edit. Look, I put my pretty geode up in front. Watch this thing as we go over this road. This road isn't even that bad, but she's swinging from the chandelier hairs. Girl, get it, get it. She's even got her little Sia hairdo. This is just too perfect. Today before I leave, I have to get an oil change, have to put in some deaf fluid, and I need to get little, stop at. I need to get that sticky tacky stuff for my gems on the piano so they're not slipping and sliding because I have a feeling we're gonna be doing some backwoodsy roads. Definitely gonna be some washboard roads happening. And we may or may not need to clean the windshield. It's getting difficult to see, actually. It's like my windshield is dial-up internet. It's all pixelated. Check it out, just an old railroad track that's no longer, oh my God, shut up. It's no longer a railroad track, but I'm gonna get my door swiped. Siri, shut the fuck up. Thank you all. Oh my God, that's kind of cool. Now kids, I do not condone parking on the railroad tracks, okay? Okay, okay, let's go. It is now time to go. Up one stuff on it. Good God. That's the only album I have downloaded on iTunes because I use Spotify. I don't know what the settings are, but it's automatically connected to my iTunes when my Spotify is not open. Highly obnoxious. So every time Siri tells me to do something, right after Gwen Stefani starts singing to me about Christmas and baby Jesus, and I'm just not having it anymore. Not having it. Hey, navigation. Oh, now you don't want to talk to me? Now that I need to hear where to turn, you're not going to talk to me, okay. Highway 93, then turn right on the old US Highway 93. Dude, I already turned. So I left my van outside the coffee shop, put my laptop inside my van. Hopefully the video is uploading, but I'm getting some steps in and walking over to Walmart, get some groceries. I just need to stretch my legs. My hip flexes are tight. Okay, let's see if any of that uploaded. Why is my computer off? It literally did nothing. It's exactly where it was when I left it. Oh, well. This fridge is super annoying because when I open the lid, it doesn't like to stay open. I have to like hold it and then try and do stuff in here, but I got these little buckets in. So I can just put my groceries in the buckets with the door closed. It's got a top bucket like so, and then I can just throw them in there. Makes it way easier. Check it out. So organized, salads, meats and cheeses, cilantro, chicken for the salads. And then under here we have some dips and some feta, or this is actually goat cheese for salad. A couple yogurts, more yogurt under there. I mean, are you super cereal right now? How easy is that? In a perfect world, the raspberries would fit right in there. Oh my god, it is. And then my half and half I just kind of put on top because I use that the most. Got a little kombucha corner over here and condiments. My fridge went from my least favorite appliance to my most favorite. Let's see if it closes. Oh, oh girl. Whoa, girl. Whoa. I'm literally holding this with my forehead because I'm trying to film and do things at the same time. Maybe I'll take out the hum and put this here. Oh yes, that's that's beautiful. Maybe I'll need to open these and then get the air out of them. I don't know. I was so proud of myself. I guess we're drinking booch with breakfast. Maybe we can just lock it closed. I think we'll be fine. I found the culprit. But for now, maybe we can just shut him in it. Oh, yes. <gasps> it worked. Genius. Genius. What about little hum? Little hummer. Little humdinger. Can you fit? <gasps> maybe the... Oh, we can put this... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Am I a genius? I'm a Tetris genius. No, I am not. That way. 
Oh my god, I'm way too proud of myself right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna lock it shut. But the thing is, it's like wedged in between my two front seats. So it's always like misaligned right here. So you really gotta shove it. You gotta really channel your inner high school football player to get this shut closed. Come on, baby. Oh, got it. Woo! Oh my god, I'm like sweating. Anyway, that's closed. Let's make some breakfast. Breakfast as usual. We got some vanilla yogurt, grain-free granola, and berries. I don't always do grain-free, but when I do, I have a happy poo. Just saying. Just saying. Like, my brown-eyed girl looks beautiful when I drop her off at prom. Just saying. All right, I'm gonna go in and finish this upload. Should take about an hour. I wish it would work from my car. Maybe I'll set it out on that picnic table so I can get ready and watch my computer at the same time time god damn i need internet i need it i didn't realize how hard it was gonna be to banana during van life bananas are delicious i love them but bananas that have been sitting in a steamy hot car all day are not that tasty turns out and you can't really put them in the fridge so any suggestions would be lovely the avocado still needs to ripen and i don't think they really ripen in the fridge so i'm gonna leave this out just for a little bit and then i'll stick it in the fridge when i get more room anyways that's my story two hours and 13 minutes I swear it was clean in here this morning. A video's uploaded, so I'm just gonna get ready, clean up for a bit. Honestly, I wanna take a nap. I got probably five hours of sleep last night. But I have friends waiting for me up near Glacier, so I'm gonna get my tush on the road, go hang out with friends, and then I'm probably gonna take a good week to myself and not see any people, cause I just, I'm such an introvert. I need it. I'm feeling like it's about that time. Hair time. Anybody, anybody have a hair time? Someone. You guys, I went to Walmart and I looked for that putty stuff and they didn't have any. So I just ordered some on Amazon. All right, going to get gas, maybe some death fluid. I don't want to go. I'm so tired. Empath fatigue, whatever that's called, where you just absorb people's energy that you're around. And I'm exhausted. Anyways, it's going to be great fun. Where's my Apple Genius? Apple Genius, I deleted the app, but it won't delete permanently. I don't want iTunes on my phone. But seriously though, if you guys know how to fix that, please let me know. I just don't want it automatically playing iTunes when I get in my car, that's all, that's all I ask. All right, we got gas, I got my lap snacks, and a good attitude. We're doing some nut fins and hummus, a little Swiss cheese, and welcome to my beverage bar. A little bit of coffee left over. I'm making a hot tea, gonna put some cream in there. We got a little honey and water and kombucha. A little jasmine tea for the road. Yes, please. I think so. Where are my beverage people at? Also, how do you like your coffee, hot or iced? I'm just a hot coffee gal looking for my iced coffee guy. I'm excited to try this hummus though. Have you guys ever tried this? Everything hummus, okay. We have a 521 arrival time realized I haven't brushed my teeth today. Well, wait. One thing I always do before I go is I make sure my Jackery is plugged into my car battery. And this thing always comes undone and then it doesn't charge my Jackery the whole time I'm driving. So I just make sure that's plugged in. Both my Jackeries are fully charged, so we should be good for a couple days. I just have to somehow find internet for the live stream tomorrow, so. Great. Can I please turn right now? not be stopping on to get a door swipe. Thank you very much. I really have to pee, so do I like pee now? I don't know the pee pee situation. I don't want to ask someone to use their toilet. Oh God, what do I do? My 
beverage bar is pretty empty. My tea and my coffee are gone. So is my kombucha. So that's my tea situation. Ooh, take me with you. That looks fun. littering yes there's a sign that gets me she gets me I'm pretty sure we're staying right on the water so excited to see what this place is gonna look like still need to brush my teeth do I like pull over now and do that like I don't want to greet everybody it's everything but the bagel seasoning in my teeth I really hope that you don't need four-wheel drive to get out where they are all parked because I'm pretty sure they'll have four-wheel drive so we'll just have to wait and see. I noticed on my little map though that uh, the road ends and then the pin that they dropped me is like, it's off, it's off the road somewhere. So we'll assess the situation. I'm getting so excited. I love being in the trees. I'm like, I feel like I'm back home. Oh, would you look at this? Okay, so there's a bunch of cars parked here. The water's there. Let's see if we can navigate it. My phone's about to die. Oh, tits. I think we're supposed to go across the bridge. Hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Okay. By the way, hello. Who are you? In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Ooh. Those look like friends. You've arrived. I see my friends. John. John, hello. Send a flare into the sky if you can hear me, John. Oh, so remember when I was like, I don't have four wheel drive. We're just gonna go to the round dibbly bout and assess the situation. Probably pee right in those feet right there. Yes, that is an absolute must. We're gonna angle it this way and we're gonna squat and pee right there. And then decide if I would later like to press my Mercedes SOS button or call AAA because I decided to be a dumb f and tried to drive up to the water in a two wheel drive vehicle. Whoa, that's not in park. Not at all in park. Um, excuse me, I have to pee. Can you please get the f out of the way? Thank you. The thing is though, when I pee, I have to like drop all the trowel and that like take off my pants and then pull my underwear to the side but i just like sit right there and squat so oh you'd like me to explain in more detail how i urinate out my passenger side of my van guess what else guys we have two bars out here it's very exciting um maybe i'll put on a dress that way i don't have to fully have no pants on if a stranger approaches my vehicle perfect and now we're ready to pee. And now for outfit change number two, I'm not wearing a bra or panties. And I'm okay with both those scenarios, just not at the same time. Maybe I'll call John and see if we definitely need four wheel drive to get in there or not. But I'm gonna get a door swipe here. It's kind of pretty. And only you guys will know that I pee peed right here. Isn't that nice? We have these like little special moments between us. Okay, so John just pulled up right next to me. He's like, here, follow me, you'll be fine. So here we are. You can see how bumpy it is by little geode in the front. Actually, it's not too bad. We're doing okay. Thank God he showed up because I probably would have chickened out. What a gentleman, he's sitting up there waiting for me. Oh my God, I really hope I don't get stuck in this soft sand. Whoa, whoa, easy Mac, easy, easy. So, here we are at the campsite. It's absolutely stunning views. Oh my God, look at this mountain. This is so gorgeous. So apparently everybody just went rafting, but they didn't have enough rafts um, for John to go. So we're just gonna kick it, I guess. John's got like the sweetest rig. It's all like decked out. Look at you cutie patootie with your dog. Oh, I see Nicole's band. You guys didn't meet Nicole. I met her one night and didn't vlog any of it. She is hilarious. Really looking forward to seeing her again. And then there's people I've never met. So, oh my Christ. Oh my God, oh my God. Sweet, gentle, baby, geode, Jesus. Dudes, what a freaking amazing view. The door swipes in the morning are gonna be phenom, phenomenal. Oh my God, everyone's floating the river. It's amazing. We survived, baby, we survived.
John is helping me MacGyver my curtains into bug screens right now. Got it clamped over here and over there. And he's gonna find something to maybe pull this up so bugs don't escape through the top. Otherwise, I might have to cover that somehow. It'd be nice to keep my doors open. It gets so freaking hot in here. It's just literally wedged up. If you stick your head through, you'll see it's just literally wedged up on top. Oh yeah, Jimmy nice. Rig, I like it. Yeah. That's my style. Um, you got one more clip? Let's do one we more clip do. right That's here. A bigger one. Look at this bug screen situation. I am happy about it. Getting some airflow happening. Got that natural light. All right, we got the crew. We got some pastel skies. You guys have to meet Nicole. And here's John's rig. Everyone just went to Costco and making a huge feast. We're gonna eat good tonight. Nicole, I never saw your van. Not really, because it was dark when I met you. We can we can do it later. It's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely Everyone's cooking dinner, so I'm contributing paper plates. They said they didn't need any more food. This is maybe the most beautiful campsite I've had yet. It's so pretty. I have booby trapped myself in my van. I was legit asking myself, why the hell would I bring salad tongs in the van? And what's the one thing we need tonight? I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> how, would we, how would we eat the salad? I know, right? You? We'd all just have to like stick our COVID fingers in there. Oh. Our COVID fingers. <laughs> we got to dance and cook. We've got some burgers over here. Look at the setup. Burgers over here. We got a cute Nicole over here. We're doing chicken, burgers, quinoa salad, Caesar salad. Dudes. This is the life right here. Um, so I closed my door and I forgot about John's contraption up there. So everything came crashing down, but it's okay. We're just having our daily blonde moment is all. They were talking about like mice coming into their vans and squirrels. I don't want any rodents in my van. Thank you very much. Make new friends, the old ones. Yeah. And it just works out. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Was this planned at all? Did anybody plan or is this kind of just a today we planned it yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny whoever shows up shows up they're not allowing fires right now so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna put this in the fire make it twinkly whole time does this one work Look still at or this no fire, i just guys. remember like I am looking over at the boat and i was like i'm i need to go to the boat now oh, yeah no, <laughs> and my ego was like shut yeah. up Oh, no, wow. Did it just get romantic in here? <laughs> You've already had some, but would you like some more? Awesome. I have not had a strawberry yet, your mouth. But I would appreciate one. I will send two pesos. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Three pesos for the king. <laughs> it's maybe called a chemical fire. <laughs> That was so fun. We just sang songs around the campfire for a little bit. This is a good group. Nicole I met in Moab and she's just such a fun, like just always smiling, always laughing. Just such a sweet person. I love their little fire pit idea. I never thought of this. I've camped my whole life in the summer when there's a fire band and I never thought to put like fun little lights under a wood pile. Such a good idea. You guys should try it. It's fun. We've got the party lights out there and everything. And I don't know if I'm aging myself or what, but I'm sleepy. It's 11.35, okay? Going on five hours of sleep. I have these out on my desk for no reason, really. I mean, there may be a 3 a.m. P in my future. I don't know. A lot of people have bathrooms, but what is the van PP etiquette? Like, do you ask your friend? if you can pee pee in their van. I don't know, but I don't want to ask them. I guess there's an outhouse down yonder. I'll walk over there tomorrow in the daylight, but I am not going to get attacked by a grizzly bear walking to a f***ing outhouse. I am not going to be that article in the newspaper. We don't like that for us. I'm going to get in bed and we have cell service here. Hallelujah. I can do my live stream from here tomorrow, just so you know, the live streams are on Sundays, and then I do daily vlogs the rest of the week. So Monday through Saturday, daily vlogs, live stream Sundays, 
feel like I almost forgot what it's like to van life because I've been staying at my dad's, staying at my friend Jan's. This is the first night I've put up my blackout curtains in like a month. Oh my god, I'm so happy I came though. I was feeling like I needed a little like me time. But it was so fun hanging out with everyone. That's what I like about van life. It like really caters to my introvert nature. Anyway, it's so fun seeing old friends, people that I met at Van Fest, going to Glacier tomorrow. There will be grizzlies, and I have heard about a grizzly attack, a fatal one, and then a couple other ones too. So got to be careful. I need to get some bear spray. How do we feel about bear spray? Have you guys ever had to use it? I've never seen a grizzly bear. We used to have black bears in our backyard every once in a while. But since it's so hot and so smoky, they are coming down the mountain. And I guess they'll swim right through the stream right here. They'll come down and drink the water or whatever. So we pull open the door to a bear tomorrow morning. We'll see. If you made it this far in the video, I want one of you to pick the word of the day. So the first one to comment a word, everybody copy that comment and I'll pin it so you know which one it is. Make it good. I also got another gem to add to the collection. Some dude was going around with his ukulele, handed out some rocks, sang us some songs. I'll always remember that dude and think of this trip when I see this rock, so kind of fun. And I'm kind of running out of room on my piano, so I need to chill for a second, but I've been good. I did get a few rocks in Montana because my dad got me that one and a couple geodes. I love them though. And that is it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.